The toast function is primarily used to show small pop-up messages, known as toasts, which appear temporarily on the screen and then disappear automatically. These messages help provide feedback to the user without interrupting the flow of the script. The syntax of the function consists of two parameters, text and fast. The first parameter is a string that represents the message to be displayed. The text should be enclosed in double or single quotation marks. The second parameter is optional. It is a Boolean value, true or false. If true, the toast appears for a short duration. If false or omitted, the toast appears for a longer duration. By default, if you do not add the true parameter, the message will display for a longer duration. In this example, we will showcase different functions that can be used to display messages in a Game Guardian script. Each function serves a unique purpose, from simple toast notifications to interactive pop ups. We start the script with a simple search. To ensure the toast message stays visible long enough, we use the sleep function right after the toast function. This slows down the script execution for two seconds, allowing the message to be seen before proceeding. We use also the alert function to grab the user's attention and ensure interaction before continuing the script. The function displays a pop-up that requires the user to press OK, ensuring they acknowledge the instruction. The code adds a 5-second delay after the alert, giving the user time to activate the in-game feature before the script proceeds. This ensures the script waits for user input, preventing potential errors or missed steps. In this part of the script, we use the toast function to inform the user if no search results were found. After calling get results to fetch up to 10 results, we check if the result count is zero. If no results are found, we display a message and stop the script with the return statement. This provides immediate feedback to the user and prevents the script from continuing without any valid results. We loop through the search results and print the details, then refine the search to narrow down the results. In this case, the print function is used because it allows us to output the found results, specifically the addresses and values, to the script console. This way, the user can easily copy the information if needed. The script formats the output, printing the memory address in hexadecimal and the value in decimal. By using print, we provide clear and easy-to-read results in the console, making it convenient for the users.
Here, we use an alert to notify the user if no results are found after the search. The code checks if the number of results is zero. Displays an alert that informs the user that no matching results were found. The return is used to stop the script execution if no results are found. This ensures that the user is informed right away and the script stops if there is nothing to process. We loop through the search results and set each result's value to 200. Then, we apply these changes using the setValues function. Afterward, we print the updated addresses and values to the console for verification. This allows us to modify memory values and confirm the changes. The print function will add the updated memory address and the new value in the console, allowing the user to see the changes. Finally, we clear any previous search results, then pause the script for two seconds to allow the user to see the message. The toast function is used to show a quick toast message, notifying the user that the process is complete. To interact with the user or simply notify them by displaying a message using the proper function is important. Toast is used to notify the user about certain actions or executions that have been completed without interrupting the script. Alert can be used to grab the user's attention when additional actions are required. Print displays information once the script has finished, and it can be useful for sharing results, contact information, or any data that might need to be copied by the user. Each function serves its specific purpose to ensure clear communication with the user.